Hey folks, Adam here, bringing you another crazy ass, wacky fucking game of the century. Whoa! Tap Heroes by Varric TP. But hold that fucking yogurt, you can get a mage? Oh, spellcaster! What'll he use? Perhaps an aqua mage and makes it rain, which does AoE damage, or a pyromancer that shoots fireballs. Or maybe you can choose spells to use. That's it? This guy's a mage? Well, fk it, he took the only job I needed to do, so I guess now I'll just... Don't go make that cup of tea just yet, son. Y'all about to miss this boss battle. My name is Ronan, and I'm here to tell you that Doom is a must-have for fans of classic game mechanics and fans of pure FPS titles. Scrap Garden is a game that if I had to sum up in a few words, would probably be something like this. It's like Zelda, but you're playing as R2-D2, and any minor mobs can be dealt with your ass plus gravity. Roll the credits! Through the intro video of the game, we meet our protagonist and hero of the story, and his name is Canny with a four, because it's cool and Canny with an A was taken. Finally, law enforcement. Excuse me, officer, can you help me out? I was- Oh, Jesus! Canny, run, you're a felon, dude! Skip town! Change your name to Canny with a 5 and 2 X's at the end, cause that'll make it look even cooler. When you see other robots frozen in different positions, from innocent to, uh... <clears throat> <gasps> Jerry with a 3! No! Not you too! Oh, you always loved cotton candy! Oh, good night, sweet prince. And may a flight of angels sing thee to thy rest. Man, this game is so pleasant. Gem currency, fun item interaction, efficient level design, and the soundtrack. Oh, f this. Candy wants out! Caution if you're diving into this, the game is not entirely finished. I discovered this as I was plunged into the ceaseless void upon my death. So that's cool. At long last, I can live out my days as a humble medieval farmer. There need not be any violence, but only the simple harvest of the wheat. Oh god, it grows back instantly. Oh, I'm gonna be here for the rest of my life. For a lot of my time, I just ended up roaming the countryside and killing everything on sight. I felt surprisingly like a Terminator that had gone AWOL. Looks like when I said I'd be back, I meant back in medieval times. The PvE is just a bit bare bones in comparison to other games of the genre, and it's in dire need of just being fleshed out a bit more. Don't get me wrong, I love killing things! But why do I kill things? I've been put on a list somewhere, haven't I? Like, I want to relish in killing these people. I want to kill them in a variety of ways. I'm really going to be put on a list, am I? And it's really beautiful. Just seeing it through the trees and check out that grass. Like, th this is like a postcard scene right here. This is, this is great. Come to the medieval times. We might have the black death and smallpox around, but check out that grass. First obstacle, push button, open door, okay. Next obstacle, push two buttons at the same time, open door, okay. Next obstacle, fall for what could be an eternity with no guarantee of survival. Okay. Releasing too early or too late will not get you high, and you might as well do yoga instead. <laughs> you are so funny! Essentially what you learn is parkour! Parkour everywhere! Parkour this? Parkour that? Okay, don't parkour that. There's also destructible terrain ranging from walls to windows. Rock and roll! This is a sandbox naval RPG where you come into your vessel, take to the high seas, and engage in glorious, glorious economics. And you fight some guys too. The presentation and feel of this game is really fantastic though. It has an epic feel going to it, and I really don't mean to just say epic is sort of like a branded word. It's like it's epic, it's awesome, totally radical man. Unfortunately, as I found out from my experiences, I am not a great captain. I taught calling myself Captain Kirk and naming my ship the Enterprise would give me a bit of an edge over the competition, but it turns out these guys are not too interested in the finer points of science fiction. I don't remember at the bottom of the ocean being tagged on to live long and prosper. You play as an entity named Seraph, skilled in the art of gun fu. Why do you think I made that up? Swear to God, look at this. Look at that. Gun fu. Where was this in my local parish when I was growing up? 
We just had lame ass Taekwondo or something. Nah, man, throw me that SMG and teach me how to Kamehameha some bullies. Hello and welcome to GameX. I am Sam Cook, and I just wanted to remind you that this game right here that you are looking at right now costs $65. Oh, God! Oh, it sucks so much! Alright, time to play the next game for review. Tales of the Void. Alright, let's see what we- oh my god. Oh my god! This is beautiful! The movement commands, the combat, the space theme! What budget? What- what kind of indie developers can make- oh! Oh, wait, that's... Legacy of the Void. Oh. The game itself opens with a short clip to establish the story. There's a British submarine aimed for Germany with an experimental weapon. Now, I don't know whose bright idea it was to put a f***ing conductor submerged in water all the while attached to a metallic vessel, but hey, this is the 1910s, and as John Tron once said, Man, 1910 times were weird. To be more precise, it was 1916. Ooh. Sensitive. Topic. It all falls on the captain's shoulders, who, by the way, loves to talk. We will complete our original mission. All right, time to start if this. If Captain Hallahan doesn't swipe my stripes upon our return, dude, your lines are done. No, I will do all I can Quit. to prevent that from happening. Okay. He gave me this opportunity. I will are not squander it. Mister, gosh, how are you supposed to do all this multitasking if you're controlling multiple groups in different locations on the map? That must be really hard. <laughs> Shut up, little Timmy. Introducing the magic power and hidden arse of f**k you time. If you find a miner, they can dig up buried treasure. I really wish I had a miner at this particular moment, because... Got a little bit of a sneaking suspicion that there might be someone of interest under the ground. What they do is they cower away to the side and try and get out of there, and basically let you deal with the fights. Because you are the macho man in this B-movie, you must fight the monsters. Only you can escape the perils of the Bermuda Triangle. Those foxes, man, you look away for too long, you don't even want to think what they're gonna do to your livestock, you know? That sh keeps me up at night. Have you ever seen a kid be self-employing himself with a virtual farmland and rise above the moral decisions of physically beating foxes and moles so much they gotta run the other way in order to protect your way of life? I ain't seen it yet, I doubt I'll ever see it, so you know, back the f*** up and watch men do what they do. Convinced yet? <laughs> of course you are. Don't forget, if you'd like to see more videos similar to this one, you can click right here. And to stay up to date for more f***ing amazing reviews, you can subscribe by clicking here. Don't forget to check out our amazing website, due official launch in the next couple of days at GameX.io. Using your previous gaming history, this website finds and recommends the next game for you that you might enjoy. Love, 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 love. Fuck this game, fuck this game, fuck this game, make him suck my dick.